You just destroyed the evidence that would link Beth to Carl's murder. Where are you going? To the basement. Carla, by the time you get there, there'll be nothing but ashes. How could you do that? Listen to me, Philip. How could you just throw those... You listen to me. Listen. They were nothing but a muddy pair of shoes. That's all. Beth was wearing those shoes the night of the murder. If the mud on those shoes matches the mud at Spalding Pond, that puts her at the scene of the crime. You knew that. I told you that. You said you'd do the right thing. I did. You destroyed evidence. If Beth did kill Carl, you are an accessory to murder. You know, I was going to ask you if I could help you move this stuff, but I think I'll pass. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're running late. Anyway. Go, go. Give him time to surprise Reba. Go. Buzz, this has got to be a little bit weird for you, right? I don't know. How do you mean, weird for me, Marcus? Well, I mean, Reva was your wife. And now, and now, and now I'm her carer. No, being married to her was weird. But she's a great broad. We're friends. You know, a lot for me. Yeah. Hey, hope that coffee pot's brewing, because I could use a cup. Hi. Hi. Are we OK? I'm OK. Uh, she's great. You're right. Right is right. Uh, yes. Yeah, we're we're all okay. Funny guy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Are you still mad at me? Diana, I was never mad at you. I was just worried about you as usual. Uh, sorry to cut this off, but uh, the coffee pot's shutting down. In fact, the whole place is shutting down. Oh, why are you closing so early? I'm catering a, a big uh, welcome home bash for Riva at her house. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. So you guys gotta go. We're going. <laughs> I'm gonna go bring the car around. Okay. Be there in a second. Party at Reba's. <laughs> Listen. What? Whatever you're thinking, don't. Just let it alone. Let Please. Let it alone. Let what? Diana, we talked about this before. I told you you're going to get in a mess of trouble meddling with Cassie and Hart. So Marcus, don't. you've got me all wrong. I just want to see if Cassie and Reba have solved their problems. Do you know, you? Reba accused Cassie of sleeping with Josh in front of a bar full of people. Mm -hmm. I'd love to be a fly on the wall at that shindig. I bet. And since we're friends again, I'll, uh... Settle for being your invited guest. What? Yeah. No, 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 this is a welcome home wait, surprise wait. party for Reva. What are you talking about? All her friends want to say hi to her. <laughs> 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 Billy, she can't do this. invited some of her dearest friends over. Well, you kind of caught us off guard. Yes, I did. Why didn't you tell us? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. I would look. I wasn't going to have Reba sneaking back into town. Her friends are dying to see her. Yeah, but not tonight. She's she's taking a long trip. She's tired. She's not feeling well. Oh, come on, we're talking about Reba Shane here. Nobody parties like she does. It's just not really a good time. <sighs> Billy, she needs a night of peace and quiet without stress. Now, why don't you just tell everybody? Just, just hold on a second, second. Wait, Billy. Wait, wait. Billy, wait. Hey, look at there is oh, Reba oh, Shane, oh, and I have never, I have never seen oh, you look this good. Oh, oh man, so darling. You think so? You, you bet your dirty hair on that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, move aside. I want a hug. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got one of those to go around for no, everyone. <laughs> hey, listen, sweetheart. Remember we talked about the fact that you need some rest. Remember that? Mm, oh, well, I think it will be okay to have a, a little get together with <laughs> no, some old friends. No, there's no change spirit. Really, I've ever heard it. Really, I hope you brought your appetite with you, sweetheart, because we have some wonderful <laughs> favorite dishes of yours mm. right over here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I tried to get in touch with yeah. you and tell you what was going on here. What are we gonna do? Well, I, the, the first thing that, 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 that we have to do is make sure that she doesn't say anything that's gonna blow blow everything. So you have to help me with this, Cassie. We have to we have to convince all these people that she is Reva. What did you mean you can't let me go, McCullough? How did you know my last name? I don't know. I saw papers on your desk. 
I should have known. But I won't give you up to the police, Sean, if that's what you're worried about. You're wasting your breath. I thought we were friends. Well, you thought wrong. The boat was finished, and I was going to leave tomorrow. Plans changed. But you wrecked it. What Why? Can I tell Why? Why did you do that? I thought you trusted me. Answer me. Don't you get it, Reva? Don't you understand? I'm not keeping you here because I'm afraid that you'll tell anybody. I'm keeping you here because I can't let you go. Beth, Beth, I'd like to talk with you. Well, I think we'd have a very dull conversation, Alan, because I have absolutely nothing to fair, say to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll do all the talking. Good night, Alan. No, no, listen, Beth, please, let's stop this so we can start the healing and bridge this terrible rift between us. You know, you really surprise me, Alan. Every time I think you couldn't possibly get more outrageous, you actually top yourself. Look, I understand why you're upset. Do you me. really? Yes. No, I, I don't think that you do. You do everything in your power to keep me apart from the man I love, your son. You do whatever vile thing you can to destroy my marriage, and then you say you understand how incredibly sensitive of you. I wish there was something that I could say. Yeah, in your defense. No, not in my defense. Oh, what was that? Oh, to heal, to bridge the rift? Yes. Okay. Sure, sure, Alan. Let's hear it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Beth, I would like to help you and Philip get back together. That's it? Well, that comes under the heading of too little, too late. I know that I was wrong because you two belonged together. When I intercepted your letter, I thought my intentions were good. I've heard this all before. I know you've heard it, but you don't believe it yet. I loved my son, and I was acting with his best interest. That's not love. That's not how you treat a child. No parent, no, no caring parent would consider that anything but a betrayal. Your mother didn't. What? Your mother didn't consider it a betrayal. What are you talking about? She thought it was the right thing to do. You're saying that my mother knew about the letter? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You're lying. No, I wouldn't lie about this. And that's why I want to make it up to you, so that you and Philip can get back what you've lost. Harley, just forget that you ever saw the shoes. I can't do that. Why? I am having real trouble with this, Philip. You're like someone I don't even know. If you wanted to help Beth, fine. Hire her a lawyer. Carl was an animal. He had a history of abusing women. He abused her. You could have helped her by fighting for her in court. I said I would help her myself. I'm not going to drag Beth and Lizzie through that. It's not that big a deal. Look, shoes or no shoes, you don't know that Beth murdered him. All we know is that Carl is dead. And nobody is mourning him. You're right. A man is dead. And you've made a very clear decision. Loyalty to Beth over loyalty to me. My conscience, what I believe in. Not to mention the law. Philip, what I have spent my, most of my life dedicated to preserving. How do you know I won't turn